Hey guys, Davey here from Davey and Krista, and today I want to talk to you about search appearance. Um, basically, how your content displays uh, in a Google search result or, or the search results from, a, from another search engine. And the reason that that's important is because if you do it well, if you have your, your content displayed um, well in, in the search results page, it increases the likelihood that someone would click on your result. So this tutorial specifically is for WordPress. I'll do another one uh, for show it. And if you if and it's also going to I'm also going to utilize the Yoast SEO plugin. So if you have the uh, Yoast SEO plugin, that's great. If you don't, it's a free plugin. You can get that. There's also a premium version which we recommend as well. So uh, let's dive into it. I'm, I'm searching. I was searching for uh, an article related to pricing because I wanted to share that with uh, with somebody. And what I noticed when I searched for those results or searched for those articles is that this result looked a little bit different than this result, right? This one has our brand name uh, at the end. This one has our uh, website description at the end. And I wanted to make sure that our website description, I'm sorry, our, our website name, our brand name was at the end of the results instead of um, the website description. And the reason that I want our brand name to be at the end is because the more times that somebody is searching for an answer um, and sees the same brand name, the more trust they're going to build with that brand. So this doesn't really help me uh, this in the same way that uh, having this at the end of a title helps me. So what I'm going to do is to make sure that uh, Davy and Krista shows up at the all the you know at the end of either a page name or a post name is I'm going to go into WordPress here. So I've logged into WordPress. I'm going to go down to my Yoast SEO settings here and select search appearance. And here you can adjust how you know, uh, how each content type, all right, how each content type uh, appears in a search result. And the way it's set up right now uh, for posts, and I'm looking at posts, you can do this for pages, you can do this for um, other types of content as well, but I'm looking at posts here, is there's the title, um, there's the page. This doesn't actually show up unless it's, it's relevant to the search, uh, which in this search it's not. Um, you shouldn't take this out though. You know, I'll say that right now. Don't take out, don't mess with the page variable here. Keep that here. Then we have a separator, and then we have the site name. So the way it's supposed to be displaying in Google is like this. You have the title. You don't see the page variable, right? This is the separator, and then you have um, the website name here, and that's the way I want it. So now I'm thinking to myself, okay, well, why isn't this result displaying that way? Well, you can. You can set a you can set it to display differently on individual posts too. So let's say for whatever reason I wanted this post specifically to display differently. Well, I could do that within the post itself. So the next thing that I'm going to do, just troubleshooting this issue here, is I'm going to go into that that post individually. So now I've opened up that post, and at the bottom you see the Yoast SEO plugin here. Well, if you want to edit how this appears just for this post. You can hit edit snippet and you'll see these same variables appear. All right. So I don't want the site description to appear. I want the site name to appear. And so you see, as soon as I put the, uh, the variable incorrectly, um, that changes automatically up here. And I'm going to close the snippet editor and then I'll save it. And so the next time that I load these results, Davy and Krista should appear here instead of. Um, the site description. All right. Now, to set your site description and your site name, you would just do that in your general settings. Um, you do that in your general settings here. And you can see that I've set my site title to Davy and Krista, and I've set my tagline to Brand New Design and SEO. Um, and so that's where you would do that there. The last thing I want to tell you is again, coming back down to or going back to these variables here. If you want access to a, a bigger list of basic and advanced variables, Yoast has that on their website, and we'll make sure that's uh, include. This link is included in, in the uh, description of the video. But you can come here and you can check out some basic variables that you can use and advanced variables as well. So I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment, and we'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks.